going to uh, go through and, and use a few of the brushes from the Perfect Portrait brush collection to give you an idea of how quickly and effectively you can edit your images with brushes. So the first thing I'm going to um, do is kind of brighten her up just a little bit. Um, when you install the brushes, you find them by clicking on the brush icon and then clicking on what a, whatever word is above the temp slider. And that's where we're going to find our brushes. So first I'm going to add light. And if I'm moving around down here and you're wondering why, I don't have time to explain all that because we're trying to keep this, this video short. However, there are lots of tutorials on the um, blog about using the um, brushes. So please feel, um, feel free to go and look that up. So the red area that you see there is just showing us where I brushed. That's it. That's all it's going to do. And I turned it off just then. It's called the mask overlay. So we brightened her up just a little bit. I might want to back that down just a little bit so it's not quite so bright. And then I'm going to click new in between them and I'm going to smooth her skin. And I'm going to turn the mask overlay back on just so you can see. And it, all it does is put a red um, shade wherever I brush with my mouse. So I'm just clicking and dragging and that's all that's doing is is putting a red. It's not going to leave the red on there at all. And sometimes I do that too. There we go. And turn that mask off. So we smoothed her skin a little bit and now I'm going to click new again. And I'm going to do a little bit of the wrinkle reducer just in some areas that need a little more smoothing. And that's just a little more smoothing. Just a little more smoothing there. So we can see quickly before and after. Now if you lose some detail when you smooth, we can always come back in like her cheekbone area. And I'm just going to add a little darkness and reduce that flow a good bit. Again, if you don't understand what I'm doing with flow and feather, just go um, search flow feather on, oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go and it will show you what I'm doing. And the next thing I'm gonna do is a little, add a little eye, bright, uh, brighten up the catch lights just a little bit. And I'm only gonna do a few and I'll show you my final edit where I used more of the brushes. And I'm just gonna whiten up her eyes just a little bit. Alrighty, so just quickly with what we've done just now, I went from before to after, before and after. And I can show you the final of what I did. All right, so that was my final edit. And I'll show you the before picture really quick. There we go. So before is on the left and after is on the right. Um, and in addition to the brushes, I did uh, change the white balance with the white balance eyedropper in the basic panel. But uh, a beautiful edit and it's amazing what the brushes can do. So there's before my brushes and after. Before and after. I find that I use the brushes the majority of the time when editing and they just help, you know, make what I'm trying to get done faster and more efficient and more effective. And I hope you enjoy them as much as I do.